good afternoon, everyone. A very warm welcome to the respected representatives of the Stipendium Hungaricum program, the Hungarian universities, alumni, and the Indonesian students. I am honored to open this event and promote my country's higher education program. As I was also a foreign university student in Asia, I perfectly understand the importance and advantages of studying abroad. I think spending university years in different country greatly contributes to widen our knowledge and views of the world. We can learn a lot about different cultures and we can also gain a lot of friends from different countries. But beside of that, it is also very important to spend the academic years in an elevated and nurturing environment where the quality of the education broaden our views and give us great chances later in our professional career. I believe that Hungary is one of the best options for that in Europe, where the universities are excellent, life is affordable, public security is exceptional, and for sure, the beauty of the country and the culture are simply marvelous. It is also necessary to note that those students who study in Hungary are not just getting good quality of higher education, but they are becoming a bridge between Hungary and Indonesia. They have a special bond with Hungary and they become a very important link in the bilateral relation that can benefit each other's countries economically and culturally as well. Hungarian foreign alumni are the future that is a great investment for each other's countries. I encourage everyone to stay with us in this next hour and ask as many questions as you can from our colleagues who honored us today to give you more information about the Stipendium Hungaricum program, about the university programs, as well as a former student of us who can give you a teaser about the studies and life in Hungary. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to our guests to participate and share information about my beautiful country that has a lot of potential and great opportunities. Also, we are very grateful to the EU Study in Europe program organizers to accommodate this event and give us the opportunity to introduce ourselves for the Indonesian students. Now I am giving the floor to our experts. I hope you will enjoy this hour and will be convinced to choose Hungary for your studies. Thank you and have a great day. Her Excellency, thank you for the welcoming words. Let me welcome our first presenter, Ms. Kitty Nemet, Program Coordinator, the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship at Tempus Public Foundation. Ms. Kitty Nemet, word is yours. Thank you very much and good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm told that uh, the host disabled <laughs> the screen sharing, so I would like to ask the host to share my presentation so that I can start it. Yes. Thank you. You can share your screen now. Yeah. Thanks. Can you see it? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect, thank you. Just let me know if there is some technical issue. It's better to know before then, afterwards. So, uh, welcome everyone on today's event. Uh, I would like to give you a short presentation about the Hungarian higher education system and the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship Program. First of all, uh, let's start with a brief introduction about Hungary itself. as some of you may are not that familiar with our country yet. So uh, Hungary is situated in the heart of Europe and it's a relatively small country with a bit less than 10 million people. Uh, we have a beautiful official language which, which is the Hungarian language. And if you decide to come to Hungary, you will have the chance to get to know this beautiful language. But please do not worry if you have never heard about this language because you will not need it to manage your studies. It's just an opportunity for you, for those interested. Uh, our country gives a safe and friendly living and learning environment. And the living costs are quite affordable compared to the Western European countries. So it's a, a good uh, option to come to Hungary. As I said, uh, the country is situated in the heart of Europe, so you can easily travel around once you are here. 
and you can get to know a lot of world heritage sites and immerse yourself in the rich cultural heritage. Here you can see the map of Hungary in the middle with our capital city Budapest. And the, the, the rest of the towns that you see on the map, they all have universities. And this, this is not all of them, not all of the university towns, but the major ones. We have bigger, smaller universities. And in Budapest, uh, there are numerous uh, of them. And uh, let's see a little bit about the life of life in Hungary, especially the youth life. So we have a super vibrant uh, youth community. You can take part uh, at various student organizations, join uh, student activities like excursions, networking events, become part of a mentoring system or an alumni system even before uh, graduating. They will all give you assistance uh, also in the beginning of your studies and throughout your stay in Hungary. And we can say it's quite easy to socialize and get new friends from all over the world because we have students coming from coming uh, here from not only Europe but uh, all parts of the world. Also, let me mention our famous spas, which I would really recommend you to try out once you are here. Uh, they are really world famous, and uh, foreign uh, tourists as well as students love to enjoy their time there and now let's move on to the study part which i'm sure you are most interested about so let's start with a little historical overview uh, the history of hungarian universities goes back to 650 years ago um, our first university was founded in the 1300s and we have given the world a, a number of Nobel laureates Especially, it's, it's quite a high number compared to the uh, number of people living in Hungary. And also, we have uh, several inventors and uh, scientists that have also given name to some of our universities. For example, you might have heard about uh, Ferenc Liszt or Franz Liszt, who is a famous pianist and composer. He gave his name to our uh, music academy, for instance or Ignaz Semmelweis, the savior of mother, as we uh, usually refer to him. He gave his name to the medical university, just to say a few examples. And there are a number of Hungarian innovations that are part of our everyday life, like the computers, for example, or color television, the vitamin C as well. They all belong to Hungarian in in innovators. And uh, why is it a good decision to come to Hungary and choose Hungary for your place of studies? First of all, uh, we offer high quality education for a fair price and you can earn your European degree here, which is a key to global job markets. Our universities provide up to date and practical knowledge and you can uh, choose from a wide range of study fields. You can see here a few examples like medicine, music, engineering, but it's not uh, it's not the end of the list that you can see on the on the slide. And as I mentioned, we have a big international student environment with around 38,000 international students studying in Hungary at the moment. And also, if you are already a student here, you will have a lot of opportunities for traineeships at the international companies, for example, Audi or IBM just to say some examples. As for the structure of Hungarian higher education, it's divided, the academic year is divided into two semesters, the autumn semester that starts in September and the spring semester that starts in February. We have adopted the three cycle degree structure, which means that you can mostly find bachelor, master and doctoral programs, but also there are some uh, different programs, for example, the so-called undivided master degree programs, which lasts for the duration of a bachelor and master program together. For example, the medical studies or dentistry studies belong to this uh, category. If you would like to study in English language, uh, you can choose from over 600 study programs. 
in Hungary. So if I already convinced you, or if you are already thinking about uh, studying in Hungary, what options do you have? Uh, you can either uh, apply for a scholarship program, the Stipendium Hungarian program. I will talk about this program in the next slides. And the other option is to become a fee paying student, in which case you can choose, uh, out of, choose from out of uh, 66 universities and colleges and over 1,300 study programs, not only in English language, but in other languages like German, French, uh, even Hungarian, if you are ambitious about this language. And uh, to find out more about the, the study programs and the universities, I, I would like to recommend you to visit the studyinhungary.hu website, where we, uh, we offer a lot of uh, useful information for you. And now this, uh, the before mentioned scholarship program, the Stipendium Hungaricum program. This is a scholarship program for incoming international students for full degree or partial studies. It is funded by the Hungarian government and it is based on bilateral agreements between Hungary and the partner countries. At the moment we have over 85 partner countries, including Indonesia. So you also have the possibility to apply. And every year we have one application period starting around mid-November. So you, you have a lot of time to prepare for the upcoming application period. You can choose from bachelor, master, one-tier master and non-degree programs as well as doctoral programs. And at the moment we have 30 participating post institutions in the scholarship program with offering uh, uh, 600 study programs in various languages, mostly in English, so do not worry about the language. Here you can see the partner countries from the ASEAN region, and as I mentioned, Indonesia is, uh, of course, one of them. And uh, before, I, I already said that this program is based on bilateral agreements, and the list of available study fields also depends on these agreements. And uh, I would like to show you here what are the currently available study fields for uh, applicants from Indonesia. And another important information for you that uh, from every partner country, we have a standing partner, which is uh, in the case of Indonesia, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Research and Technology. Uh, so this whole application process is carried out by the cooperation of the partner countries and Tempus Public Foundation. Uh, so it's, it's worth contacting them as well if you, if you are considering to apply for the scholarship. Some statistical figures for you uh, so that you can see that we already have a quite a, a num big number of students studying here from Indonesia. Uh, on the left side, you can see the Stipendium Hungaricum scholarship holders who have studied here in the current academic year. There is at the moment 182 of them. But altogether with those uh, that are fee paying or studying here with other programs, we have uh, 285 Indonesian students in, the, in Hungary at the moment. And every year we are conducting a student survey between our scholarship holders. And we are, we are uh, curious to know whether they are satisfied, how satisfied they are with the program, the chosen university study programs, etc. And uh, last year, at the Indonesian students, <clears throat> I mean, 93% of the Indonesian students said that they would come to study in Hungary again if they would choose again, so it's, it's a promising figure, I think. A little bit more details about the scholarship program. What would you get or what would you receive if you become a scholarship holder? Uh, first of all, tuition free education. <clears throat> and in addition, you, you would have a monthly stipend to help you with your uh, living costs and accommodation, either in the form of a dormitory place or in, in the form of a contribution to your housing costs. And also, of course, you will uh, receive a medical insurance. 
So if you if you would like to apply for the scholarship program, please visit our application system, the website uh, you can see on the slide. And one important <clears throat> A favor that I would like to ask you, if you decide to apply, please uh, use the following reference for the Indonesia Info Day 2022 when creating your profile. It's not a problem if you don't write it down now because we will send a lot of information and useful information for all the registered uh, participants of this event. And as I said, the application will start around mid-November, but it does not mean that you cannot uh, start the creating your profile until that, because you can start any time to create your profile, but later on from mid-November, you will be able to apply for the study programs as well. So I think that was it uh, from my side today, and I would like to thank you for your attention. If you would like to have some more information, just please visit the before mentioned websites, the Study in Hungary or the Stipendium Hungary website. And you can also follow us on Facebook and uh, uh, we have a YouTube channel as well that I would like to uh, recommend. And in case of any questions, let's please contact us at the Stipendium Hungary Commerce or ask me in the Q&A session later. Thank you very much. Ms. Kitty Nehmet, thank you very much for this wonderful presentation. Let me welcome Ms. Edith Szabadszállási and Zita Batis from the Hungarian University of Agriculture and Life Sciences from one of the finest universities in Hungary. Ms. Edith and Zita Batis, word is yours. Thank you and hello everyone. Welcome from Hungary, Gödöllő. Uh, can I ask for a screen share, uh, please? I'd like to share my uh, presentation with you. Can you confirm if you can see what needs to be seen? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, Yes, thank you. So again, we are the Hungarian University of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Um, we have a short name for that in Hungarian, Mate. And yeah, we, were, we are well known of these um, meanings like mate. We welcome the, all the buddies here and, um, and the pies and, and good friends. We are welcoming good friends here at our university. You have to know that we have changed our name last February. So the university, the Hungarian University of Agriculture and Life Sciences was established last February, 1st of February. And um, you have to know that even though it's the, the name is new, the structure is new as a new model in Hungary, but it has the backbone of, uh, of such uh, campuses, prominent campuses all over in Hungary. So we host five campuses, namely Buda, Gödöl, Gyöngyös, Kaposvár, Keszthely. These are cities of Hungary and um, they all have renewed and training programs, degree programs. And when I say renewed degree programs, it means that we try to uh, upgrade our, our degree programs according to the needs of the, of the recent economic system and, um, and the recent needs of, uh, of, of the world demands. Now we consider lessons learned from the most uh, successful European partner university. We combine traditions and solutions of modern ages. And our long-term objective is to make MATA one of the 30 best agriculture and higher education in the universities in the world. And I was just spreading the director's greeting from our side now, uh, who cannot be present at this prominent event. So uh, I do hope that soon we can meet personally with that. Now, uh, as Kitty from Tempus Public Foundation briefly um, said the nice words from Hungary. Uh, I'm sure that uh, now you can, you can spot our country in the heart of Europe. And in the heart of Europe, you can, um, you can find Hungary. And, and of course we say in the heart of Hungary, you can find our main 
campus, the headquarter of our university, it's called Gödöldö. It's famous of its Sissi Palace. Uh, I'm sure you heard about Queen Elizabeth. It's on uh, the palace is on the left corner of the um, of this slide. However, on the top right corner, you can see our main building with the cheerful students. And the cheerful city has cheerful events as well, such as the Hungarian folklore events that you can see in the in the top. Mm, I'm sorry, the bottom right corner. And this city is more than 50 years old. And actually the population is around 35,000 people. And, and the good point about Gödöllö is just, it's only half an hour away from the capital city. And the campus can be easily reached by the by trains, by bus or any public uh, transportation that the students favor a lot. And you can see, um, uh, the, the bird points of you, our campus, if, if you can see the, the, uh, the yellow building from, from the top and behind our main building, you can see the dormitory buildings. The dormitory buildings have different facilities, different room settings. And when students uh, come here, they can choose um, which, which room settings they, uh, they, can, they can get a place. And just uh, for the uh, for the history, uh, I mentioned that even though last February our new model was established, however, we have a long history. If you see the numbers in the brackets, like the main quarter, uh, the headquarter, the main campus, Santish Town Campus, was uh, actually running from the 1920s, and our oldest uh, campus, it's in Kesthely, called Georgikon Campus, has the the oldest history in the agriculture and studies and, and uh, trainings in, in Europe, actually. Uh, what you have to know about our university that we consider teaching and research of food source production, food quality and safety, water and soil as strategic resource, environmental protection and sustainability, energy security, bioeconomy. And even though we are focusing, it's an agricultural focused multidisciplinary um, university. It's one of the largest university in our uh, higher education institutions, institutions in Europe. We also deal with, uh, with economics, technology, business and management. And the wildlife management is very popular among our, uh, our students. Now you could see a, a map in Kitty's presentation of Hungary uh, with, uh, with Gödöldö campus as well. And I want to show you some other, other cities that I talked about. And like, so for example, the headquarter is Gödöldö near Budapest, but on the left part of Hungary um, near Lake Baraton, we have Kesthely and Kaposvár and up in the mountains. Oh, we call it in Hungarian terms, it's mountains, during there's another campus. And oh, the other sorry, thing is- Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, just your slides are not moving and I think they cannot see the, the picture. Oh, really? I'm so sorry. Um, what is the last slide? I'm still on the first slide. Oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> so you couldn't see the nice pictures. Mm. Um, can I? Maybe if you start to reshare it with the full screen, not the presentation itself. Okay, it's the full screen here. So. Hold on for a sec. Shall I ask for the, okay. What if I open the PDF, not the PPT? Oh, um, it's moving now, uh, but- okay. Where yes. are we now? We are now on the MATE in figures, slide number nine. Uh-huh, okay. And how do I get to the... Okay, I'm not sure I see what you see, um, but yes. if I scroll, if uh, I scroll I, now, can you see the other screens yes. as well? Yes, okay. we can. Uh, but I think you need to um, make it a full presentation. Um, yeah, actually it yeah. was like that. So maybe our system is a bit slow now. I was at the, uh, the campuses and institutes. Can you see sure. it? Uh -huh. um, yes, campuses and institute. Or oh, another okay. way that we can actually do this, I can I can assist you in um, showing the presentation. Okay. 
maybe they will work better. Mm -hmm. So how to? I'll, I'm, I'm doing it now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. After the plan, so that's it. Okay. And we are now. Oh, uh, one more. Is it, it? Yeah. Okay, this is okay. Can you just move one, uh, one slide back, please? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, what I wanted to mention that with the change of the uh, of the model, we changed the faculties into into institute system. So, which means that instead of faculties, we have twenty one institutes all over our campuses, and the main campus hosts the Institute of Aquaculture and Environmental Safety, Economics, um, Business, Technology, Agronomy, Environmental Sciences. So even though we are agriculture focused, as I said, we also put high um, emphasis on technology and, and economics as well. Buddha Campus, which is the on the Buddha side of, of, of the capital city Budapest, is um, hosting food science, landscape, and uh, horticultural sciences. And the next slide, if you move on, uh, do you, mm -hmm, thank you. Uh, the next slide, slides uh, host like they, these are smaller campuses. They not necessarily have such uh, so many institutes, but like they, they have courses um, and, and classes and trainings there as well. Now, as we go move on for the next slide, please. Mm -hmm, now we got back to the uh, matter in figures. Um, some of you in the chat asked if how many Indonesian students um, have, um, we have in Hungary and Kitty answered that. And I can answer that in, uh, in our institutions, we have 25 Indonesian students and out of the 15,000 students, and we have more than 2,300 international students from all over the world. So basically from 102 countries. So, and that's a pretty, a nice number for hosting such uh, to create such international environment. And those who are invest interested in PhD studies, we have 12 PhD schools with um, almost 900 PhD students. And um, we have courses in Hungarian and of course in English as well. If we move on to the next slide, please, I can show you the English programs on bachelor levels. Here in bachelor, if you remember Kitty's slides, um, the bachelor uh, programs are for seven semester, uh, mostly in Hungary. These courses are for, for seven semesters, focusing, as I said, agriculture, environmental studies, horticulture, wildlife, management, business, tourism and catering as well, and, uh, and so on. You can read all the, uh, all the bachelor programs. And if you're interested in master programs, the next slide shows the, the master programs. Thank you. The master programs here are for four semesters, two academic years. And again, it can be a continuation of the previously studied bachelor programs here. Or uh, if you're coming from other university, then you can study like mechanical engineering, environment, uh, agriculture, water management, which is very emerging these days crop production, agriculture, biotechnology is another uh, other popular uh, degree program here, and so on, including the, the business and social sciences, uh, such as like management and leadership, supply chain management, tourism and management, besides all the agriculture focused and multidisciplinary courses. Now, uh, if you're into PhD, the next slide, uh, actually, I can, uh, can show the, the PhD schools uh, on Gödöllő campus, you can find, yeah, that's, that's correct, yeah, thank you, uh, you can find uh, the doctoral schools where you can, you can choose your, your PhD studies. And um, uh, just checking the time if we still have time, um, we can just move on uh, for the next slide. And uh, you asked about the scholarships that you can study here at our university. One is the so-called uh, Erasmus, uh, Erasmus joint master degree. Um, joint master means that like several, uh, especially six European university applied together for this joint master degree. And this degree is about implant. 
just as the name shows plant it's about plant breeding plant biology seed technology and etc this is a two year uh, program and actually the link is on the on the and plant plus um, the underlined and you uh, i hope you will be able to check it but the next slide is about another uh, Erasmus Mundus joint master degree, and we are very proud of that. So if we can move on to the next slide, and it's about uh, the short version is Daphne. And let me just uh, give the word to, to Zita. And let's wait if we can yeah that's it and Zita please talk about it's your baby. Hello everybody yes this is my sweetheart of programs the Erasmus Mundus joint master degree um, shorter version Daphne this is the Danube agri-food master as you can see uh, this is a 120 ECTS joint degree um, it uses the Danube region as a model region for all the riparian regions worldwide uh, it focuses on sustainability in agriculture, food production, and food technology. Uh, this program has been approved uh, for six years with a total budget for more than 5 million euros. So we are very proud to have this program. And um, just an insider information for you, we are at the moment in the selection process uh, of the first intake, which will start this September. We have received over 500 applications for, um, worldwide um, out of, I think, 57 countries. Also from Indonesia, we received three uh, applications. So I would like to encourage you uh, to also try this program. For the next intake, the call will be open from November. So uh, this joint master degree program also, as you can see, uh, is an merge of seven universities. First year countries, as you can see in the table, are the Czech Republic, um, CZU, the university in Prague, and our uh, university at, at Mata in Hungary. Um, and then the, after the first year, you can choose, uh, the applicants can choose between the five other countries, like Croatia with University Zagreb, Nitra, Slovakia, um, Vienna, Austria with Boku, or you can choose between uh, Novi Sad University in uh, Serbia or Temeshvar in Romania. So I would like to hear from you and uh, see your application in November. Thank you very much. <laughs> and just speaking of Erasmus, um, let's just um just um just one word to the erasmus we often apply for the erasmus international credit mobility it's not listed at the moment because uh, uh unfortunately we didn't win for this um intake however in february we will apply again for indonesian region even though it's a highly ranked uh region it's very hard to win the the applications but uh fingers crossed so hopefully we can host with you the um uh, with erasmus international credit mobility it's an exchange program um, which can give you like one semester or two semester scholarship and speaking of other scholarships let's move on to the next slide as Kitty listed stipendium Hungaricum scholarship program and uh, yes we offer 74 English programs um, on VST, MST and PhD level as well and, and Indonesian students can, can apply in the listed reach um, fields as uh, natural sciences, agriculture, and so on. Um, one thing that you have to know about it, if you, if you apply with this program, then you will get the dormitory and the national health insurance and also the stipend as what's listed in, in, in Kitty's presentation. And those students who are uh, who weren't less successful at Stipendium Hungaricum and they weren't uh, selected, they have a chance to apply for the so-called MIS program at our university. It's it's only for those Stipendium Hungaricum uh, applicants 
who, who are still willing to, to study at our university, even though they didn't win the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship, but uh, they want to study uh, the, the specified study programs, they can get tuition fee reduction as listed below from 90% uh, uh, sorry 90 ECTS for free at BSc level and 60 ECTS uh, for free at MSc level. Uh, at MSc level is half of the program so basically they have to pay only one tuition uh, one academic year tuition fee. Uh, and just speaking of students' life, let's just move on to the next slide before we finish our uh, presentation. Um, you can see the, the cheerful event, like it's really like this international students really enjoy studying with us. We try to uh, arrange them as many colorful events to them as possible. And plus they bring uh, color to our university life as well. And just like, uh, finishing our presentation, the last slide will be a message from St. Stephen's uh, son. Uh, his name is Prince Emerick. And um, St. Uh, Stephen was the first king of Hungary who actually uh, initiated the public education as well. And our name, uh, Gudul the Campus name, is named after St. István in Hungarian wording. And before last year change, uh, our university was called St. István. And um, this is the message from, from our first king. For guests coming from diverse provinces, we bring with them diverse tongues and customs that will adorn a country. For a country using only one tongue and having only one custom is weak and frail. Therefore, I commend you, my son, to show goodwill to newcomers, foster and hold them in high esteem so that they may sojourn here rather than in other parts. So with these final words, I'd like to thank you for your attention. And when you have questions, I'm sure we have some time to, to answer as the continuation. Thank you. Thank you. Miss uh, Edith Sabat Salash and Miss uh, Dita Batis, thank you very much for this nice and interesting presentation. And finally, let me welcome our uh, friend from Indonesia, Mr. Putra. He was studying in Hungary. So, dear Mr. Putra, may you share with us uh, your experience from uh, those years? All right, uh, can you hear me, Mr. Martin? Yes, we can. All right, so uh, thank you, Mr. Martin, uh, Your Excellency, Miss, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador, Mrs. Uh, Lila Karsai, uh, Zia Stock, everybody. So thank you for having me uh, today. It's really happy for me to share the experience uh, regarding to my uh, study experience in, in Hungary. So, um, I'm really sorry I didn't uh, prepare any presentations or something like that. Actually, I have a lot of um, beautiful pictures uh, with my friends, Indonesian students in there, and also foreign students in there, but um, I didn't prepare that, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was exciting. It was um, really, you know, really exciting to study there. And it's really useful. Um, that I learned uh, in, that uni in, in the university for my job right now. So um, uh, let me introduce, uh, right now I, I, I work at executive staff of uh, president in, in Jakarta. So it's really helpful to do my, my work right now about that I learned in, in, uh, in master degree, especially in, in Core Finnish University. So um, I graduated from Corfinish University. I took master science uh, in international economics and business. Um, at that time, actually, I applied and accepted at many at several university in many country. But I decided to uh, choose Corfinish University and Hungary because of the curriculum itself. So um, the curriculum is about um, theory between theory and practice. So, so it's uh, 
theory and applied economics. So it will make me get the experience uh, to study the theory as well, knowing the real situations about international economics and uh, business. And the duration itself takes um, two years. So it's also suitable for me rather than the others. Uh, many options op offers like one year uh, education, one year um, scholarships. And second uh, reason, because of the beautiful city uh, Budapest. Like I had been to Bud uh, Budapest before during my uh, bachelor student, or when I was a bachelor student. So uh, I went there and I, uh, I thought that Budapest is one of the, the best place that I want to live for that time. So I decided to continue my uh, study or pursue my, my master degree in there. So um, maybe a lot of change or probably there is a renewal, the step of selections or requirement, but maybe I will share my experience regarding to um, struggling time to um, um, in selections of, of these uh, scholarships. Actually, this the challenging time is uh, when I have to the interview with the professor and the dean from the Corvinus. So it's it's challenging because the questions, it also comes um, regarding to the current situations of the, the economics of Europe and also the economic system in, in, in Hungary. So it's, it's also challenging for me, but uh, um, in the long story short, uh, I got accepted for, uh, the, the scholarship. And, um talking about the, the 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 study time at there um it's really excite exciting to uh it was really excited to study in budapest because actually the university the corvinus university is located in the city and near to tourism destinations so um uh, at the first time i have to focus my study but if i have um, several times I will go. Uh, I went to uh, tourism destinations because it's very, very near to, to the university, and also the lecture and the teaching staff is really helpful. A lot of uh, teamwork there. Study study case um, also uh, make us uh, understand the the subject, and the library is really comfortable to study and make some tasks. You know, um, a lot of library in there. Um, I went to library in Corvinus, but I also went to library in uh, Central European University. It's also a beautiful library because near to uh, the, the, the tourism destinations, uh, Bala, uh, Basilica. And regarding to, uh, um, regarding to the student life, uh, actually um, there is a lot of international students and also there is a Hungarian students and we can, um, I have a lot of friends in there. Besides we study together, sometimes you also went to um, tourism destinations or going uh, somewhere uh, together or also went to bar sometimes in the weekend. So it's really, really, really happy to have um, a lot of friends, international friends in there. And especially for Indonesian students, we also have a student associations or community, and our community is, is also supported by uh, Indonesian embassies. So sometimes we made some event, both for internal or external um, event in, in the embassy. So it can make, uh, sometimes the community made me stay away from the homesick. So um, I think that's all, Mr. Martin, that I can share or um, uh, about my, uh, study time in Budapest in Hungary. So uh, thank you very much, Kosanom Sipen. Mr. Putra, thank you very much for your participation and sharing your experience with us. And uh, we wish you good luck and uh, success in your position. Thank you. And uh, I think now we have a couple of minutes for a couple of questions. So let's see the first one. Uh, it's about, uh, I think, stipendium scholarship. 
If you want to continue my education as soon as my previous education, uh, is there a scholarship? Um, so I think uh, this is um, about uh, he or uh, she has to study the same uh, um, subject as uh, before. May uh, Kitty name it? May I ask you to answer this question? Yeah, yeah let me try. Uh, so if I understand why well, the person would like to start right after finishing with her current studies, in Hungary, uh, as I mentioned, with the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship, it's only one time per year, the application process. So there are no other possibilities. So before November, there is no um, possibility to apply. And the next application will be for the academic year 2023, 2024. So starting from next year, September, the studies, you can apply from this uh, November till the next year of January. About the other scholarship that uh, the colleagues mentioned from MATE, I am not totally sure if it's possible still to apply right now. Um, as a self-financed student, it is still possible. The application platform is open until 1st of June, um, but in certain cases we accept late um, applicants as well. Uh, late applications, but as for the scholarship, yeah, they are they are set uh, dates like European dates, European Union dates. So, so we have the same deadline for for stipendium Hungaricum and for the joint masters as well. Yes. I think the next question is addressing both of you. I graduated from uh, marketing department management. Is there the same education there? Um, let's uh, mm. first start with the uh, stipendium Hungaricum, then with uh, Mate. I mean, the, the marketing is, still, is also included in, in the study programs and economics as a study field is, is included for Indonesian students, so I would say yes. But about the specific programs, it, it's better to check out the, we have a study finder actually on, on our website where you can search by keywords. Even if you write only marketing, you will find what's available and in which universities. So it's difficult to say right now the, the exact answer to how many universities offer, but I am sure that there are universities offering these marketing programs. We can move on if that's all right. I, I can mm -hmm. see some more questions. Mm -hmm. For example, about the Muslim community in Hungary. Is it safe as Muslim to live and study in Hungary? I would say it's, it's totally safe. So you, you can belong to any religion. You will have a safe community here. And yes, there are there is a Muslim community. About the details, I do not know a lot, but maybe Putra, you have some experience regarding this? Um, yep, actually I have uh, some experience regarding to the Muslim community because actually a lot of Indonesian is, uh, the majority is, is Muslim. So it's really, it's really easy to find the mosque in there. So don't worry guys, if you want to pray uh, a lot of, like in, in Budapest, um, if I'm not mistaken, there is like five mosques in there. So it's easy to, to pray there. And also, if you want to uh, buy uh, the halal food, it's also near to the mosque. Uh, and there is also the Pakistan uh, store, um, something like that, also sell the, the halal food. So it's, um, it's don't worry about, 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 the, about the halal food there. And um, 
the last uh, question because actually the last two questions uh, was about uh, joint uh, research in Hungary. So uh, Miss uh, Edith Sabasashi and uh, Zita Batis, may you uh, share um, your uh, research programs? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for the question. Actually, it's not the research program that we talked about, it's the joint master program. So um, we don't have the joint research, but like about the joint master program, um, we can talk more in details. Um, this joint master program, the Dauphin program, the Danube Agri-Food uh, master program, um, it uh, provides a solid basis in all relevant disciplines uh, from natural sciences, engineering, economics to social sciences, offering extensive uh, opportunities for inter interdisciplinary approaches and intercultural communication and promotes the idea of sustainable bioeconomy. Um, I can't really say much to the research part, uh, but as you can see in the table, what the, each university focuses on. Uh, the first uh, university, first year universities, CESEDU and MATE, they're focusing on giving a core uh, knowledge uh, of the sustainability in agriculture and food production, food uh, technology. And uh, for the five partner institutions, you can see what they are specialized on. So this is what I can, I can tell you about this uh, master degree program. I hope it was an answer to the question. If it's the joint research, then um, I guess we have to skip that. We are not able to answer that, but we can we can look after that. Uh, okay, and uh, maybe we have uh, time for the last question. My name is Zara. I would like to ask you, is there any possibility of me to do part-time job while, while I am doing my study? Yes, actually students in Hungary, sorry if I just grabbed the words from someone, uh, students in Hungary can do part-time job, which means 20 hours per week. And in Hungary, the student jobs are allo uh, allocated to students work alliances. So students have to be members of these alliances in order to, uh, to, to work um, as, a, as a student. And um, on our campuses, we have two um, offices like that. And uh, I'm sure in Budapest there are much more options. And I, even though we are aware that like, uh, like depending on the job as well, um, it happened many times like the students after the part-time job, they received a, a full-time job as well. Um, sorry, I didn't mention a very important part of this uh, master program um, that we offer 21 seats uh, for full scholarship. This means that, um, uh, proved from the European Union, uh, we offer uh, 1,400 euros per month for those who are selected in this excellency program for these 21 seats. And we also uh, offer 10 places, 10 seats for students who uh, gain tuition fee waived status. This means uh, tuition fee, uh, tuition fee uh, free um, uh, studies and you, they can only, uh, they are only uh, to be paid uh, the uh, living expenses. So for the master program, if you are uh, selected for the full scholarship, you actually don't need a part-time job to come up uh, with your living expenses. Thank you. Nice numbers. Nice numbers. <laughs> okay, and uh, the last, last questions. Uh, is there any other programs beside agriculture, like foreign languages, international relations? Sorry, just I was answering a, a question in the in the chat mm. box. Uh, could you please repeat? So it was about international relations. Because I don't see that question. Is there any mm. other programs besides agriculture, like foreign languages, international relations? 
of course. I mean, I don't know if this question was directed to the university, but they also uh, shared numerous uh, study programs that are available at their university. But in the frame of the scholarship program, we have uh, several other study fields included. Uh, as, as I show them in my slide in the bachelor and master field, there are also information technology, technical studies like engineering, arts, or so musical studies are included here or sports studies. So there are quite a lot, lot of different study fields. Okay, I think now uh, we should uh, finish our session. So I would like to thank you all the participants uh, uh, sharing uh, uh, their thoughts and uh, and uh, introducing their um, uh, institutions. Special thanks to uh, Her Excellency Ms. Lila Kashai for the participation and uh, for uh, our friend Mr. Putra and uh, for Ms. Kitty Nemeth from Tempus Foundation and uh, for Edith Sabatsalashi and uh, Zita Batis from uh, University of Hungary, uh, science, agriculture and science. And thank you very much for uh, the attendances uh, and uh, hope that uh, uh, in the near future we will uh, meet at our embassy when uh, you are coming and getting uh, your visas uh, at our uh, consular office. So thank you very much and see you. Mm -hmm.